Hi self healers and welcome to the new self healer master class. The first webinar I ever did was about six months ago and I've learned so much since then. I wanted to redo the master class and relaunch the self healer program. So I've changed things a little bit and I can't wait to share that with you. My name's Elizabeth A. Clark. I have a master's degree in nutrition science and I'm an integrative nutrition and health coach, also a self-healing expert, but we'll get to that later. All right, so what I wanna know is who are you? And obviously this is something that you think to yourself. <laughs> I can't hear you right now, but just think about that for a second. Who are you? All right, and what defines you? Are you a mother, a friend, a go-getter, a boss babe, a teacher, maybe all of the above? And I want to know what's holding you back? Is it chronic? Is it a chronic health condition, a mystery illness? Are you about to have a full-blown emotional breakdown along with it? Are you looking back on how you used to be happy? How you used to feel good? Well, I have been there. Maybe you feel like you're spinning your wheels. Maybe you're dealing with depression, anxiety, food addiction, um, maybe you're having some bloating, maybe weight gain, water retention, you just, your clothes don't really fit. Maybe you're having brain fog and fatigue. You know, I hear this all the time with my self healers, and this was a huge problem for me. Maybe your main complaint is headaches. I went through a period of time where I would have given anything to stop having tension headaches and migraines. It's such a disrupting condition. Or maybe you're just at your wit's end and your sleep is truly suffering. Maybe you're not able to fall asleep or you're waking up in the middle of the night or you know any number of things that could affect the quality of your sleep. Well, like I said, I've been there, so I really understand what you're going through. I really do. And I think now would be as good a time as any for me to introduce myself. So that's me there in that picture. That's the sofa in my living room. And that is a painting behind me that I painted myself. That was my old cat that I had for 10 years. Her name was Greer Garson. I took that picture of her. And I painted that picture of her. <laughs> but that's not, that's not really who I am. The person I am now is somebody who reversed their mystery illness by stepping into my self-healing power. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about who I am, how I became a self-healer. I'll give you a little background with my credentials so you know that you're talking to someone legitimate. I have a bachelor's degree in dietetics and chemistry. I have three years experience as a prenatal and pediatric nutritionist, which I no longer am, but I, I did that for three years. I am a ref refinery certified bar fitness instructor and a group fitness instructor as well. I also taught a little bit of yoga. I'm an ACE certified integrative nutrition and health coach. And this is actually the only health coach certifying agency that is nationally recognized. So any of these other health coaches out there, they may know their stuff, but they are not, um, they're not certified by a nationally recognized agency unless they're ACE certified. I had two years experience as a biomedical researcher. I completed the dietetic internship in 2018. So I have done the actual Western medicine clinical 
route. So I've had the training, all of that. I have the qualifications to call myself a nutritionist. And I have a master's degree in nutrition science. And I'm a master astrologer with a focus in medical astrology and self-awareness astrology. So a little bit of an eclectic background, but you'll understand how it ties together, hopefully. But that wasn't always me. Um, you can see how different I am in these pictures. And I'm sorry that they're blurry, but um, I had a little trouble emailing them to myself and keeping the quality. So they came out blurry. But this is me um, over the past decade or so. You can actually see this last picture here on the right was me at um, probably exactly 10 years ago. And then me um, maybe two years ago uh, when I was still sick. So this is a whole decade of being sick. Two, two versions of me hooked up to an IV, getting the same treatment, heavy metal chelation with EDTA and DMPS. Um, I mean, I spent four hours once a week, every week, for four years this round. And then I tried it again a few years later, and I only lasted um, a couple of times. And it was just, I couldn't handle it. Even the treatment was making me sick. So, you know, over the past decade, I went from depressed, bloated, you can see here, bloated, my face, <laughs> even bloated. I mean, this was a just an awful reaction, and I never figured out what it was to. It was, I think it just was too the air that I was breathing in my environment. Um, I was bloated, gaining weight. You can see the difference here. I mean, I am standing closer, but also I'm a good 10 pounds heavier. Not being able to focus, um, horrible sleep, a ton of inflammation. And I went from that and turned myself into a self-healer. And I self-healed from lupus, depression, anxiety, addiction, mold illness, parasites, SIBO, leaky gut, and a ton of other things. I mean, if you're dealing with mystery illness, then you know. The, the list goes on and on and on. I have a genetic vascular connective tissue disorder. It's the same gene that Marfan's is located on. Um, and a Chiari malformation, which is a neurological condition that's probably equal parts congenital and equal parts um, brought on by trauma, either blunt force trauma from like an automobile accident or trauma from toxin exposure. And mine was actually both. It's hard to imagine, right? I mean, I don't ever want to go back to those days. I have come so far emotionally, physically, mentally, professionally, I don't even know who that person is, but I will never forget at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, what I want to know is, which one do you relate to? Do you relate to the me in this picture here or the me in those slides, that slide just before this one? Which one is you right now? Again, sorry for the blurry pictures, but uh, this was about five years ago. So I did reach a point between those two IV pictures and the last uh, or the slide before last. I did reach a point in between there where I had about a year of really amazing health. Um, so this was about five years ago. I had just reverse engineered my methylation pathway to self-heal my systemic lupus hair loss, and guttate psoriasis. I had no positive lupus blood work biomarkers. I had no lupus symptoms. I felt amazing. I was ready to move on with my life and start grad school. So I had about a year of this, you know? I mean, you can't see it all that well, but my skin is glowing in these pictures. I mean, these clothes actually fit me and were comfortable. This was a canoe trip I went on with my parents, an eight-hour canoe trip with... My parents and about 50 of their friends, we do it every single year, Memorial Day weekend, and my parents are in their mid to late 60s, and there have been so many years over the past decade where they were just tearing it up out there on the rapids, and I was sitting at home, you know, too sick to participate. So 
this was a real treat for me to have my health back, you know, in a way that allowed me to participate. But sadly, it didn't last. So this is <laughs> sad little me in grad school. <laughs> um, you know, felt like I could take on the world, moved down to Florida from South Carolina, started my master's degree. I was doing biomedical research um, and my health just deteriorated almost immediately. You can see all this itchy redness happening with my eyes. My whole face is swollen. I have like, you know, those kind of hormonal under the skin breakouts, um, just rashes all the time. I'm the queen of rashes. Um, my hair was all dried out and was falling out again. Um, yeah, I, I was in this research lab probably 12 hours most days because I was also teaching nutrition classes to undergrads um, online, but we had to record the lectures at school with the major professor. Um, it was his class. I was a teaching assistant, but... Um, so I was there all the time, you know, the emotional environment was really traumatic. It, there was a lot of, um, just, I would say bad vibes, but that doesn't do it justice there. You know, there's a lot of problems in academia with people that, you know, just quite frankly, have not ever, not ever become self-aware it's not everyone. I have some dear friends and I have some self healers even from, you know, the time that I was in academia, the brief time that I was in academia before I ran for the hills. Um, but it was a, it was an emotionally traumatic environment. Anybody who's spent any time um, in academia would probably agree. But, you know, the pressure got to me. It wasn't just emotional pressure, but the building where the lab was and all the classes were was extremely moldy. They would have leaks that would go on for days at a time without being addressed. It would get in the carpet. It would destroy, you know, occasionally even lab equipment, leaks from the ceiling. Just, it, you know, it was an old building. And um, the lab equipment itself was very high electromagnetic field. And my office was in a lab that had all kinds of huge um, equipment. I mean, it had like minus 80 degree freezers and um, centrifuges and micro CTs. And I mean, just to name a few, this, this thing was just packed with dirty electricity. So you can see in this picture, you know, my skin's not glowing anymore. Um, I gained weight. I lost muscle. My clothes were so uncomfortably tight. My hair, like I mentioned, was falling out again. I could not concentrate. You know, I, so much was really demanded of me at this point in time, and I just had no concentration at all. Uh, my sleep was just like terrible. You know, I didn't have time to sleep, but even when I got into bed, my sleep was like always disturbed. I would wake up every couple of hours or, you know, just something like that. And my migraines returned. I had gone so long without having migraines and they came back. So here I am. <laughs> I look so pitiful. <laughs> I'm just trying, you know, I knew I had to make some changes. So here I am, same thing, you know, I've gained the weight, my hair's all dry and falling out, you know, my skin's not glowing anymore. But I am trying, man, like I'm just showing up. This is me getting back into yoga. This is me becoming a bar instructor. You know, my energy level was like minus 10, but I knew that I had to get out of the lab and I knew that I had to be around people who wanted to be healthy and wanted to be happy. And I saw that in the fitness community. So as hard as it was for me to be a bar instructor, I took that leap of faith and I did it. I quit the lab and that's, that's what I did. I started Experimental Betty, my Instagram account. I devoted a lot of my, pretty much all of my time to biohacking and researching my own health conditions, you know, not, not researching for the school anymore. Um, and, you know, I'm, I, I was still uncomfortable, but I did what I, I had to do. I even started going to the infrared sauna um, I did the ketogenic diet. I started intermittent fasting. 
really everything I could think of that had had been giving other people in my orbit good results, you know, other people on like Instagram, you know, and I didn't try it blindly. I did do the research, but I came to the conclusion that, you know, it doesn't hurt to try it. And I, I did improve, actually. Um, I got about 80% better, even though at the time I was still living in mold, believe it or not. I, I had moved three times to get out of mold. I had arranged all of my classes to be online, all the classes I taught to be fully online. And, uh, you know, I stopped researching inside the lab and still could not get away from mold. And this was Tallahassee, Florida. So, um, you know, the infrastructure is not that great. There were a lot of storms and the trees are, you know, really beautiful, but really old. So they were always falling on buildings and, you know, creating damage um, through leaks and stuff like that. So, um, but I did get a little bit better. I moved again, finally maybe got out of mold. It's it's so hard to tell, but I really started fasting more and that, that really helped a lot. I started actually working out less and that helped a lot. So I got about 80% better and I started the dietetic internship. And every single location I interned in was moldy. I mean, talk about heartbreak. Like I have just changed everything in my life to get away from mold. And this one last thing, this one little piece, I'm done with my classes, all that's over and done with. All I have to do is the dietetic internship and I'm free to go be myself and do my thing and get healthy. And it's just like, I have to go into a moldy school for a few weeks, then a moldy community center, then moldy hospitals. (laughs) It was, um, Not something that I look back on fondly at all, but I'm glad I had that experience because it really changed who I am, as corny as that sounds. Um, And I wouldn't be here for y'all if I hadn't gone through that. So eventually, I moved to Tampa to finish my last clinical rotation in a hospital down there. The dietitian office was in the basement. It was a really old hospital, and it was located in a blood prone part of Tampa. So the basement was moldy. You could smell the mold. I couldn't see it, but I could smell it. Other dietitians, you know, they didn't really want to talk about it because I don't think that they were supposed to, but they essentially agreed that it was not a healthy environment. (laughs) So, um, you know, I got really, really sick, sicker than ever before. And I remember asking the preceptor, the dietitian manager at that hospital, you know, if I could just sit upstairs instead of having to go in the basement. And logistically, it seemed fine to me to ask that. But I think liability wise, it really freaked her out that I was saying that the building was making me sick, you know. And the day she called me to tell me not to come back for liability reasons, you know, um, I was so sick and so out of it and so confused my mental capacity like if I had taken an IQ test I don't even want to know it probably would have been like 30 <laughs> like I couldn't process any information the the neurological inflammation was just so intense when she called me to tell me that I couldn't understand what she was saying I, I had to ask her to repeat it and I really didn't get it finally like when we got off the phone, I had to like call my mom and, and say like, I'm, I think this is what she means, you know, like, can, like, I don't know what's going on. It was just insane. And eventually my program director, we tried to find a new hospital that wasn't moldy, but it was impossible um, on short notice. And eventually my program director made me take a leave of absence and I didn't want to, but I took a leave of absence for a whole year. And To put this into perspective, how sick I was, I only had 10 weeks to go, 10 weeks until I was done, and there was no feasible way I could make it 10 more weeks. So um, (laughs) this is me at the very beginning of my dietetic internship, (laughs) just trying to keep it together, working in moldy schools and food service 
the drains in the floor stayed wet because of how they wash the equipment. And during the summertime, which it was, um, they would turn the AC off to conserve heat or to conserve energy. So um, it, there was just mold underneath the kitchen, basically. Um, but <laughs> here's the exciting part. During that year, I healed. That year that I took off was the best decision that anyone <laughs> ever forced me to make. <laughs> and I did it through activating my self-healing mechanism, PGC-1 Alpha. And so when I say that I'm a self-healer, I mean it on a lot of different levels. You know, I did um, heal myself in a lot of ways, but I, I actually went to a doctor to have this treatment done that I received that year, but the treatment was ozone therapy and it activated PGC-1 alpha, which is known as your self-healing mechanism. So self-healer has double meaning and I'll get to that a little bit later in the webinar as well. But um, yeah, I was doing a lot of therapies to activate my self-healing mechanism, including ozone therapy. So really even within just six months though, I was like, my old self. I felt better than I had felt at any point during grad school. I look better than I looked at any point. During, look at this person. This person is just like so vastly different than those other pictures. Um, you know, but it wasn't easy and I put the work in. I put the work in. I put the financial investment into it. This first round of treatment that I did was $12,000 and I had to come up with it within like two weeks. And I mean, I did y'all. <laughs> I did. I, I, I pulled all of my possible resources and, um, I made it happen and it wasn't the only treatment plan I had to do. I had to do several. So all in all, I spent tens of thousands of dollars, but it was worth it because I was me again. Look at this person. Ah, look at me dancing on the beach. I'm doing a pirouette here. Um, I mean, even having the balance and coordination to do a pirouette is something that I hadn't had in years, but then having the energy to do it, to actually make the drive 40 minutes to the beach with my friends. Like I didn't have friends because I couldn't hang out. And here I am with friends hanging out <laughs> and me chilling in a swimsuit. Like I didn't have the confidence to be in a swimsuit, you know, during grad school and feeling like crap all the time and feeling like I looked like crap all the time. And here I am just, you know, hanging out. <laughs> See, I had all this energy. I was working out every other day because I felt like I could. It wasn't a chore. I wanted to do it. I didn't get run down from doing it. I started dating again, you know, not only did I not have friends for a long time, but I couldn't go on dates either because any time that I would meet people that I wanted to be close to, it would never fail. I would end up having to bail on them every time I got invited somewhere because I didn't feel like going. And you can't develop friendships that way, you know? You can't have a relationship like that. And I just knew that, you know, after a certain amount of that happening, I knew that it... it it was just not worth even trying. So just this is the happiest I had been in a long time, you know? Um, so at that point, I felt like I could start back at the dietetic internship. After all, I just had 10 weeks to go. <laughs> oh boy. So this, <laughs> I did start back to the dietetic internship and this was the real rock bottom. You thought the first rock bottom was it? No. This is the real rock bottom, but I promise it doesn't get worse. <laughs> After about five weeks in the new hospital, I realized that there was mold. Um, but it took me five whole weeks before I had really major symptoms. And um, that to me meant that I had become more resilient because I, I wasn't as affected, you know? But then one night, <laughs> I was watching a documentary about mold illness, and I got really upset because it took me back to that state of mind, what it was like to have mold illness, you know, a mystery illness that nobody 
can see and nobody believes and nobody has ever felt. So um, it, it put me back into the victim mindset. And, you know, it was hard to watch people's lives being ruined by mystery illness while you're being exposed to the thing that ruined your life through mystery illness temporarily, I might add. I mean, that's those are really strong words, and I don't believe that for a second because I'm here now, and I have a much better life than I ever expected, you know? So it didn't ruin my life, but in the moment, that's how it feels. So within that same week of watching that documentary, I had developed full-blown mold illness again, chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Um, and it was because I hadn't dealt with the trauma of being ill. So, you know, when it resurfaced, it triggered my susceptibility to mold illness. So here I am. This was that week. Um, look at that rash, guys. Like, dang. Uh, so yeah, I spent a lot of time being devastated. I had five more weeks to go in that hospital before I could be done with it. I wasn't about to give up. I mean, at, at one point I was about to give up though. I mean, I, I just decided at one point, if this is what you have to do to be a dietitian, then I don't need to be a dietitian. I'll be fine. So um, my, my mindset at this point was, I don't have another six months to a year and another $60,000 to go through this whole self-healing journey all over again. You know, one time is enough. I can't do this again. But, <laughs> you know, we always find strength um, in these types of situations. So um, I, did, I did do it. <laughs> I did it again, you know. It took a lot of support from an amazing preceptor at this hospital, my parents, um, and in particular, one really good friend of mine who had been there for me a lot. And I did finish the internship. I did my last five weeks. I started the self-healing journey all over again. But this time, I, I decided it was going to be different. I decided I would heal faster, more efficiently, and with less expense than ever before. I also decided that I needed to actively work through my trauma from having chronic mystery illness so that I wouldn't get triggered so easily in the future. And this is me right when I, I started healing again. So you can see I still have like some water weight and like, you know, cellulite and bloating, but um, I, I, it was just so much healthier <laughs> than I was, you know, during the mold exposure. I would never ever feel confident to take a picture like that, you know, during during mold illness because it changes your body so much. So I decided I would activate my self-healing mechanism the same way as before, except without the expensive IV ozone therapy, because there, there are better ways to do it. So instead of doing six months of IV and sauna ozone treatment at the doctor's office, I found ways to activate my self-healer gene at home. So this is me playing around with some ozone eye drops because I got a lot of like eye, ear, and nose infections from being in the moldy hospital. This is me learning how to muscle test myself instead of relying on my doctor to muscle test me for, you know, $150 to $300 an appointment. And this is the infrared sauna that I built at home. I even made this cover myself out of canvas. All right, so fast forward, within less than two months, I was feeling like myself again. Within less than two months, guys, like, it feels good. How did I do it? I focused on eight evidence-based ways to activate PGC1-alpha, your self-healing mechanism. And I biohacked my self-awareness with astrology to find and work through my subconscious trauma that was, you know, holding me back. It kept like triggering my fight or flight and victim responses. And um, this picture here is me two months after that moldy, that last moldy internship, that last mold exposure. So I'm getting my glow back in my skin, you know, I'm... I'm happy, healthy. My skin is toned. My muscles are toned. I don't have this bloating, you know, in the eyes. 
I don't have like, you know, rashes all over my body. Um, my hormones are balanced, you know, it was a great feeling. All right, so I, I think there are four foundations to self-healing. And these are kind of separate from the eight evidence-based ways that activate the self-healing mechanism. This is more about the broader sense of self-healing, just being a self-healer. You can call it a biohacker, you know. Um, but I think first and foremost, mindset, self-awareness. I cannot stress how important this has been for me. So you have to have a, a way of approaching that. You have to have a plan, you know. You're, these are things that are in your subconsciousness. So you're not going to be cognizant of them. You have to have a way to, to find them, determine what they are. And then you have to have a game plan for resolving them. Um, so big, big thing, probably the most important, in my opinion. It's not going to cause illness, but it's going to be one of those factors that will always bring you back. It'll always make you susceptible. Uh, learning to muscle test. If you're going to be a self-healer, you have got to learn a legitimate evidence-based way to listen to your body and know what your body needs. No one can tell you that. Your doctor can't tell you, you know, you can't guess it. Your body is the only thing that knows what you need. And the only way to tap into that is through your neurolinguistic kinetic response. Um, some people would call this intuition. It's intuition in the sense that intuition is also a science, you know, it, it is a, a science of quantum physics. So it, this is something that I feel very strongly everybody needs to learn how to do. My self-healing journey went to the next level when I learned how to do it for myself because you can do it for food, you can do it for supplement, anything you want a yes or no answer, anything that you can dose out, you can get that response. And in turn, once you master it, you learn how to get that response for everything in your life. So when you become good at it, you can ask yourself a question and you'll get a yes or no answer. And I can even tap into what I feel like is a higher energy. And I can distance muscle test for my self healers. And we've checked this. We've double blinded it. <laughs> and I've mailed samples out to my self-healers and they've muscle tested themselves to the samples and gotten the same thing that I got for them. So um, this really is a fascinating science and it's, it's something that, in my opinion, every self-healer needs to know. It is one of the four foundations. Then you have, of course, gut health, but not just gut health, gut and nasal microbiome. So you have to balance both. And a lot of people leave out the nasal microbiome, but the nasal microbiome has the exact same effect on your systemic inflammation, the exact same effect on your DNA regulation. It has the exact same epigenetic effect as your gut bacteria. So we have to balance them both. And I believe that you have to address underlying Epstein-Barr virus, strep, or staph that's in the body. If you've ever had a root canal or um, an extraction or a dental implant or a cavitation, although you probably won't know if you have a cavitation, um, most of these things don't have symptoms after they've, you know, occurred, but they do have a systemic effect on your health. Um, there will be staph and EBV and strep and those types of things latent in your your um, your jawbone and you know high up into your gums if you've had this dental work done but even if you haven't you know a lot of people have EBV that is just kind of bringing their immune system down it's this like suck on your energy and it can give you a feeling of chronic fatigue it's never the thing that makes you sick but these these latent infections will keep you from healing and they will just sap your energy right out of you. And then the fourth foundation of self-healing is leaning on your community. Having a community of self-healers is so important. The biohacking community, the self-healing community, 
we are so supportive of each other. And if you don't have the answer, someone else does. You know, if you've had a weird experience with something, you can bet someone else has had a weird experience <laughs> with that too. I'm just going to get rid of this guy because he's bothering me. Okay, sorry about that. All right, then everything else, the, the other evidence-based ways to activate PGC1-alpha, I've lumped them into four categories. So I teach eight, but they all fit into four. So we have body harmony eating. So this includes um, cyclical ketosis and intermittent fasting, although I don't push those two things on anyone. And it really depends on what's going on with you, whether or not it's going to be efficacious to go ketogenic. And even with intermittent fasting, it's a very powerful activator of your self-healing mechanism. So all of these things will activate your self-healing mechanism. That's why I include them. But you may find it hard to intermittent fast. So here for body harmony eating, I also include ways to fast without actually having to fast. So get the benefits of fasting without actually fasting. And targeted nutrient therapy. So targeted key nutrients. There are, I think, seven or nine that I include in the Self Healer program specifically. And these are powerful activators of PGC1-alpha. They directly activate your NRF1 or NRF2 pathways through PGC1-alpha. And I give you so much information on this that you know exactly what to do. And of course you muscle test yourself and you learn through muscle testing what's gonna work best for you. Then we talk about the right kind of exercise. And it's not just exercise, it's also foam rolling. And um, you know, everything that gets your muscles and your fascia moving. So learning how to do the right kind of exercise for you. We don't want to burn your adrenals out, you know, we don't want to make you retain water because you're just stressing your body out. So exercise shouldn't be something that stresses your body out. Really, oftentimes, less is better, and there are some types of exercise that activate PGC1-alpha better than others. Safe and effective detox. So this includes um, infrared sauna, it includes thermogenesis. It includes supporting your phase one and phase two of liver detox, and it includes elimination. And then we have balancing your cellular mineral salts. So this is really, a, um, all of these have a bioenergetic effect, but balancing your cellular minerals really has a uh, more of a bioenergetic effect than anything else. We talk about copper to zinc ratio, something very important that most people overlook. It's like trauma in the sense that if you don't address your copper to zinc ratio, it, it's not the thing that makes you sick, it's not the underlying cause of anything, but it will trigger illness. So if you don't fix it, you will always be susceptible to illness. So a lot of these things people don't emphasize enough and it's just a, an issue of awareness or maybe being misinformed but I am telling you, through my knowledge and personal experience, that there are some things you cannot leave unaddressed. And if you've tried some of these therapies and they didn't work for you, then I would bet money there are some things that you didn't address that kept you susceptible. And copper to zinc ratio is a big one. But we also do like cellular mineral salts and... Um, hydration, which is obviously more than just drinking water. So um, yeah, we, we get really deep into all of these things because for me, I had to get really deep into all of these things to actually experience, you know, sustained healing. And you don't have to do these things forever. You know, you get to a point where you're resilient and they just become part of your life because they make you feel good, but you don't have to be as strict about it. You know, you don't have to do it all the time. All right. So, you know, I've taught these techniques to my clients and fellow self-healers for years, 
And now the self-healer program is actually getting even better. All right, so the switch up. Uh, for about six months now, I, or about six months ago, what is up with this? This is so frustrating. I quit, but then it's, it still keeps popping up. I'm so not tech savvy. Okay, almost six months ago, I switched from doing locally based one-on-one -on -one coaching to a completely web-based platform that was group coaching. And I was doing group coaching one day every week. It was like a one hour live call. And you know, it didn't work out so great because of people's schedules. And um, I think that because we're talking about healing and our bodies, it was hard for people to bring up you know, their questions on a live call with other people. So, um, you know, I thought long and hard about what to do about that. And I, I had another program that is hybrid. And I thought, you know, maybe that's what I should be doing with my, my self-healer program. So that's what I did. I switched to a hybrid model this year. So that means I'm still offering lifetime access to the digital self-healer program, which is like your self-healing blueprint and encyclopedia. But I'll be including a one-hour, one-on-one call with each of my self-healers every single month. So I switched from the online program plus weekly group coaching to the online program plus monthly one-on-one -on -one coaching. You still have access to me, you know, in between calls, of course. <clears throat> so why did I do that? Because I love you guys and I want to be more hands-on as your self-healing mentor. I want to be a bigger part of this journey. <laughs> so what a, what's the self-healer life about? <laughs> you know, and you, you don't just decrease your inflammation. I mean, you can, you can decrease your inflammation by 80% with the self-healer program, but that's not it, you know. You also eliminate the confusion. So you're not always wondering what's right for you. What's the right move? Will this work for me? Will that work for me? Am I taking the right dose? Is it doing anything? It eliminates all that confusion because you learn all the science of what is actually proven to be effective, and then you learn how to muscle test yourself. So just because the science, the evidence says that this thing is gonna be effective doesn't mean it's gonna be effective for you. But I think that you deserve to be aware of everything that is effective so that you can then use muscle testing to determine what's right for you. Otherwise, you are completely shooting in the dark, you know? And I think that people really underestimate how frustrating that is for them, you know? Like, that's a big source of frustration to constantly be guessing and not knowing if what you're doing is right for you. So this is not Band-Aid medicine. We're not doing Band-Aid medicine here. There's no trial and error treatment whatsoever. We're cutting through all of that BS. And you're learning how to do it for yourself. I'm not saying come to me and let me muscle test you. I'm not saying I'm going to channel spirit for you and give you an answer. No, hell no. I'm teaching you how to do it for yourself. You can be your own medium. You can be your own <laughs> muscle tester. You can do this all for yourself. You know, I'm here to guide you, but I'm not teaching you how to be healthy. I'm teaching you how to self-heal. I'm teaching you how to be your own self-healer, which you probably already are to a large extent. But if you're here, then you are seeking more information. And that's what I'm here for, is to give you the information that I have. All right, so let's talk about some little testimonials. And I feel really weird doing testimonials. Um, it just feels like I'm bragging on my self or I don't know, but I feel even bad asking for them. So these, <laughs> these were all unsolicited <laughs> testimonials. I will eventually solicit some so that I can get more, but these were just things that my self healers sent me, you know, in like a DM or an email or a text. So this is Danielle. This is a sweet, sweet, amazing girl. She's taught me so many things 
in life and we've known each other for a while. We actually worked together when I was um, a prenatal nutritionist. She was a breastfeeding counselor and she said, I just wanted you to know how much I love the Self Healer program. The information you have in this program is amazing. I feel like I have so much more of a grip on my own intuition with the muscle testing each day. And I always looked up to her because she just seemed so amazingly intuitive and in tune with her body. So for her to say that I, I helped her with her intuition through, you know, teaching her how to muscle test, it just blew me away. To me, that was like the biggest compliment I could have received. Um, and she said, I just wanted to give you an update and tell you that I think what you've done here is truly unique and important. So big words that mean something big to me coming from a really big heart. <laughs> All right, and this is Alicia. So Alicia found me through Instagram, as probably 90% of my self-healers do. Uh, the other 10% are people that have known me during my personal self-healing journey and are going through something similar and saw me in real time sort it out for myself. <laughs> and so they, they knew who to go to. Um, but this was Alicia. And uh, this was, you know, something that she said on her own during a group call. But she said, I was adding MCT oil only to my coffee. So she's big into like bulletproof and we, we relate with that a lot. But she said she was putting MCT oil in her coffee before she started muscle testing. Then she learned how to muscle test in the self healer program. Um, and she thought she was sensitive to butter because I think she'd had a food sensitivity test that said that. And um, if you've seen any of my videos, you probably know what I think about food sensitivity tests already. But uh, when she muscle tested herself to the MCT and coffee together, she got a no. And then on this coaching call, we were talking about how, you know, maybe that will cause inflammation if you do it alone, just based on some science that I had seen. So I recommended that she try adding butter with it. And even though she had been sensitive to it on paper, she muscle tested to it and got a yes. So she added it to the MCT oil and the, the coffee. So she did all three, MCT oil, butter, and coffee. And uh, she said she's been adding butter ever since without any problem. So... <laughs> That's, that's the power of muscle testing. There's so much information out there that is, you know, not purposefully misleading because it does work for some people, but it doesn't work for everyone. And that's, that's so important as a self-healer to find out what works for you in real time, by the way. You know, this food sensitivity test was however many months old and it only is going to reflect what you've been eating for a couple weeks prior to it. Because if you have leaky gut, your body's going to have antibodies. Your blood will contain antibodies to whatever you've been eating recently. It doesn't mean you're sensitive to that food. It means that you have leaky gut. But in real time, you can find out if your body wants, you know, butter. And at this point in time for her, butter was compatible. And MCT oil alone was not. This is Ashley. <laughs> well, she also found me through Instagram, or maybe I found her, or we found each other. I, I love her page. She's so inspiring. Her and her sister are um, like bodybuilders. They both used to have lupus, so we really related to a lot of things. And Ash said, I instantly connected to Betty due to having a similar autoimmune experience in the past. She is always making me think, and I'm slowly becoming more self-aware. Betty treats us as if we've been friends for years. Her great insight and guidance helped relieve my health issues, but her unexpected friendship, support, and desire to understand offered me the immediate comfort of knowing that I was going to be okay. You can find people out there with tons of knowledge and expertise, but not too often do you find all of that included in someone with a genuine heart. Very blessed to have found Betty. And again, like these self healers just know exactly what I what I feel like is the best compliment they could pay me. You know, like yes, there are lots of people out there that can help you feel better 
I'm the first person to tell you, like, you can try a million different things that'll make you feel better. But I, I really do try to, I really do try to be the person that's just in it to help people, you know? And obviously, like, it is a business. I have to make money. But I always want to be genuine. You know, I don't want to bring anything to you that's not, you know, 100% genuine. So that meant a lot to me. And this is Ashley. I love this girl. Again, met her through Instagram. And she said, I was blown away by all of Betty's self-healing expertise. But when she did my medical astrology reading, she was able to see my colon issues that I've never told her about or even spoke publicly about. I had been in the hospital for it recently, and it's something I always had to work on no matter what. I can't even describe it. It completely blew me out of the water. It's so unreal. And we actually went into much more depth, and um, I, I'll, maybe I'll um, <laughs> post again about the point-for-point point, um, review she did of the medical astrology report that I did for her. But it was insane. Like I, and I think I'm only able to get so accurate with medical astrology because I have the medical background because I pulled out things that I didn't think were accurate because I really, I had no idea. I don't know her that well. And I, I just didn't think that they could possibly be true because they didn't, they didn't line up with what I did know about her. And I even went as far as to do some perfection charts to pin it down to a particular year in her childhood when all this might have started because I just wasn't convinced for myself. I needed to see some more evidence. And I was getting a lot of indications that something had happened in childhood, some event. And I pinned it down and I sent it to her and she was just blown away. She said, yes, definitely that year, that Oh, so many things like, yes, <laughs> it was just everything point for point. It was, it was so accurate that I, it blew me away because I had not at that point decided to fully integrate the medical astrology readings into the self healer program. I was doing them separately. Um, but oh my gosh, this, this girl. <laughs> okay. And here's Maya. Maya might be my youngest self healer. And uh, we connected also through Instagram, actually. And um, she actually uh, reached out to me. We had a phone call and she was telling me everything that was going on with her digestion and possible like Lyme disease. And she was trying to decide if she should take a semester off of school to heal. And I shared my experience and she did decide to take a semester off and then was formally diagnosed with Lyme. So uh, she's still at the beginning of her self-healing journey, but she actually enrolled in my Body Harmony eating class where I taught her how to self-muscle test and what foods would probably be compatible with her biology. She said, I'm so glad I took the semester off to finally get answers. Thank you so, so much. I do the muscle testing and meditating every day. I love it so much. It's helping me get my confidence back with food. And she really is. She, so part of the body harmony eating was mindset, just like the self-healer program. And I've now merged them because they, they really can't be two separate things because when she finished the body harmony eating course, she wanted to go into the self healer course, so I don't do them separate anymore. But um, now her Instagram page it's called uh, Sit Girl Eats, and she does what she calls sit down baking because you know Lyme disease is rough, but she's doing amazing healing from it. And she sits down in the kitchen and she bakes, and she bakes these body harmony eating treats, and they are delicious. And we just have that in common that we both like making these, um, these, you know, baked goods that are compatible with our biology. And here's Shelly. Shelly is one of the people in my life that saw me heal myself and looked to me uh, for answers. And she said, Betty has helped me with everything from frequent UTIs to migraines to gut health to fatigue. She's always known immediately what I should try and given me the reasoning. Even by text message or phone, I felt 
more seen than any doctor appointment I've been to in my adult life, having learned something new and gotten the motivation to get well. She selflessly shares her wealth of knowledge, and while she does know all the science, she's able to relate it in a way that's simple to understand and empowering for me. So, is that it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Testimonials take it out of me. <laughs> they really do. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about the curriculum, that what you'll actually get access to in the Self Healer program. Now, this is on top of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So this is the online platform that you get lifetime access, access to. All right, first thing in the program is mindset. I have professionally developed exercises for discovering and letting go of trauma. These have been adapted from Deepak Chopra, among others. Um, I help you with a self-awareness astrology reading so you can see your subconscious shadows, what you need to work on that isn't evident to you. And there are about five or six points in the chart where you can go to look for these things, and I'll show you how to look for them. And uh, that way you can bring them into your, your consciousness and they won't restrict your healing anymore. They won't keep you, you know, triggered. And there's meditative practices and video lessons to help you recalibrate your mind and your heart so that you can lead with love. Love is a healing vibration. The second thing you learn is muscle testing. So you'll learn the most effective ways to muscle test, find out what your body really needs. There's probably 15 different ways to do it. I've narrowed it down to three, and those are the ones I teach. Uh, you'll have lifetime access to tons of detailed self-muscle testing training videos, and you can just refer back to them whenever you need to. Um, you also get guided exercises. Every single chapter has an exercise for muscle testing yourself with whatever that chapter is about. So keto, there's a specific exercise for muscle testing. Uh, your gut microbiome, there's a specific exercise. So you're basically getting homework, although it's optional. And um, yeah, what the goal is just to unlock your unlimited subconscious potential. So you always want to have the ability to bring your body back into harmony. And the only way to do that is to learn to muscle test yourself. Okay, the gut and nasal microbiome. So this is the third thing that you learn. So you'll get expert one-on-one -on -one guidance with this. We'll talk about this in our one-on-one -on -one calls. And I'll help you pick the antimicrobials, the binders, the biofilm busters, the gut rebuilders that will work best for you. I'll distance muscle test you and then you'll muscle test yourself. And you'll also get all of the peer-reviewed research showing not just the safety and effectiveness, but also the proper dosing. So I'm not prescribing these things to you. I'm showing you the science about what was effective, and then you're muscle testing yourself to find the dose that's effective for you, but you have that research to go off of. And, um, and I'll guide you through it step by step. So you also learn why the gut microbiome, or I think I said that backwards, why the nasal microbiome is just as important as the gut microbiome. And you know, how to bring the nasal microbiome back into balance. Underlying infections. All right, so you'll be, again, professionally guided by me. One-on-one, -on -one, we'll find the right professional-grade esoteric herbal remedy that will put any underlying infections into remission, and it happens fast. I mean, within less than two months. It's the easiest, most impactful thing you can do on your self-healing journey. And maybe, maybe healing the gut microbiome is more impactful, but it's, it's not as easy. <laughs> They're both important, but this is easy, you know? So uh, yeah, within less than two months, you'll have noticeable increases in energy and concentration because you're not going to be using all that energy fighting underlying infections. You get community. <laughs> you, find your you, you find your tribe within the self-healer community. That's, that's your tribe. Um, you know, you can interact daily with thousands of self-healers. 
You learn from their wisdom, um, not just from asking each other. You can, you can, you know, ask each other questions. But I take all the questions that I've been asked by self healers that week, and I do a frequently asked question video where I just answer them so that everyone can have the answers, even if they hadn't thought of that question yet. And I get some really good questions. Um, you know, you can share your story, share your peaks and valleys, and you find genuine support from all of the self healers that have been there before, you know, or they're going through it right there with you. And that is so important. A lot of these Facebook groups for chronic illness are not focused on healing. If you ask something about natural remedies, you almost get like this backlash of people saying, you're only going to degenerate. You're only going to get worse. Just accept it. It's not, it's not right to, you know, just be focused on some glimmer of hope. It's not going to happen. And you don't get that in the self-healer community. Not at all. There's n almost nothing, <laughs> almost nothing that can't be reversed. And I'm living proof of that. You can't give up. And the self-healers are not going to let you give up. And they're made of women primarily. There are, I think, three guys in the whole self-healer community, three guys, and um, they are very respectful. They have very well integrated feminine and masculine energy. And trust me, they would not be there if they didn't know how to behave. And they do bring stuff to the table. You know, they, they have a feminine side too. So it's not all women, but it is primarily women. And it is definitely sort of a matriarchal community. I mean, it is a matriarchal community. And it's not that it's led or ruled by women, not that kind of sense. But matriarchal just means that it's about balanced feminine and masculine energy. So it does, it does feel like an overly female-centered community, but it is not closed to males. They just have to be respect, <laughs> respectful males. Um, but these women, they're, they're totally unique. They're intuitive, intelligent, kind-hearted, determined to get better. They're just captivating women. And many of them hold the same advanced degrees that I do, or even more advanced degrees than I do in, in medical and research fields. So, um, you know, you're, you're getting really informed input from everyone. And that's also how you know that, like, I know my shit. <laughs> like, I, the, these people that are in the self healer program, these, these women have a lot of the same background that I do. And they wouldn't trust me if I was, you know, just out here, um, out here talking about things that don't have any, any basis in evidence. Um, so I think that it is a testament that this community is built of women who you don't have to have any background knowledge, but the, most of these women do have background knowledge and they chose the self healer program out of everything that they could have chose with all their background knowledge, they chose the self-healer program because, and many of them have said this to me, they know that they could have come to the same conclusion as me, but they want to outsource all of that effort, you know? So they know how to read a clinical study. They know how to do an end of one experiment on themselves, but is it worth it to them to go through all of that by themselves? Or is it worth it to outsource it to someone who's already done it, you know? Okay, so little tangent there, sorry. Uh, we do body harmony eating. So you get some really detailed guides. You get grain-free, sugar-free baking. You get a good fat, bad fat guide, an intermittent fasting guide, a cyclical ketogenic diet guide. Um, you get grocery lists, recipes, a 14-day jump start, and an extended 30-day meal plan <laughs> for body harmony eating. Uh, you get loads and loads of download, downloadable tools to um, understand how to eat exactly what your body wants. Uh, so this includes muscle testing. So you're going to learn how to muscle test with foods and supplements 
And um, even though there are meal plans, you don't have to stick to them. The, the meal plans, the grocery guides, all of that are just basically the things that most people are going to test well to. So I found that my self healers do like to have some really specific direction in the very beginning. So I made the meal plans and the recipes and the grocery lists. But as you progress, you, you have more opportunity in the meal plans to come up with your own things. So there's a lot of like mix and match things towards the end of the 30 days where it's like, here's a list of approved vegetables, a list of, you know, proteins. You put, you know, a cup of the vegetables, a cup of the protein together, and you come up with your own soup or your own smoothie or whatever. So I give you a little blueprint there because I found that people really like that. But the goal is to teach you how to do it on your own. Those are just kind of extras. Um, and then you also find out how to get the benefits of fasting without actually fasting, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> pretty valuable. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, just valuable knowledge to have in your self-healing journey. And we do talk about targeted key nutrients. So you get access to over an hour of video lessons detailing which targeted key nutrients directly activate PGC1 alpha. You get access to the evidence-based dosing amounts, benefits, and effective forms of each vitamin, mineral, and amino acid. Um, and I also professionally guide you one-on-one -on -one in our one-on-one -on -one calls. And we find the right ones for you. I distance muscle test you and then you muscle test yourself. And um, yeah, so you, you determine for yourself the right combination, you know, how much, when to take it, how to combine it, all that stuff, when to time it. Um, and you come up with what is effective for you, but I'm there to help. I'm there to help guide you because it takes about eight weeks to master self muscle testing. And um, I want you to feel like you have a resource and I, I want to be that resource. I want to mentor you. We talk about safe and effective detox. So you can download the DIY infrared sauna blueprint. You can make your own infrared sauna for less than $60. You can just sauna at home in your, in your shower if you want. I'll show you how to rig it up in your shower. <laughs> um, so you learn how to detox safely through infrared light because there's some rules associated with that that you want to implement to make it safe and as beneficial as possible. We'll also talk about thermogenesis, dry brushing, foam rolling, how to support phase one and phase two, and elimination. And um, you're gonna learn how to do all those things together. So you're gonna learn how to combine thermogenesis with light therapy. You're gonna learn how to combine dry brushing with thermogenesis, you know? Uh, so all these things can work together and you're gonna learn how to come up with the perfect detox protocol just for you. It's designed just for you, by you, <laughs> with my guidance if you want it and need it, you know. We do talk about mineral balance, like I mentioned. So there's videos, there's presentations, there's lab orders. You're going to develop a very deep, comprehensive understanding of cellular mineral salt balance. I could just tell you what to take, that's not enough. I'm going to tell you what to take, but I'm also going to tell you the science behind it because you deserve to know that. You are here because you are a self-healer and you deserve the information. You deserve the knowledge. You, you shouldn't have to search the internet for hours upon years <laughs> putting all this stuff together. <laughs> you just, you, I just want to give it to you, to be honest with you. Um, but you still this is still part of your self-healing journey. So you're getting the knowledge just handed to you, but you're the self-healer. So you have to watch the videos. You have to watch the presentations. Um, you have to implement the protocol to balance your minerals. But you're going to find out exactly how to do that. Um, you're going to get a hydration guide because, like I said, we all know hydration is not about drinking water. It's about mineral balance. You're going to receive the professional one-on-one -on -one guidance from me through our one-on-one -on -one calls. You're gonna learn how to structure your own water at home. So you're gonna learn how to create magnetized and vortexed water that is in a structure 
that is more readily absorbed by your cells. Structured water is the form that water exists in within our bodies. It's the form that water exists in within raw vegetables. It's the form water exists in under the ground. Um, but once it comes out of our tap or the bottle at the grocery store or whatever, it's no longer structured and it's not as hydrating. It just, it just doesn't have the same bioenergetic benefits. And the mineral balance chapter is the most bioenergetically active chapter. Um, and of course you're going to learn copper to zinc ratio. We're not going to overlook that like everyone else seems to do. It's a, it is the most overlooked factor in chronic illness, depression, hormone imbalance, weight gain, and anxiety. All of those things. If you're suffering from those things, then you need to fix your copper to zinc ratio. And I'm going to help you get there. All right. So what do you think? Is this right for you? Do you want to feel better? Do you desperately crave you know, some sort of mind-body recalibration, you know, a new direction. All right. If the answer is hell yeah, then give me a hell yeah, and let's do this. Okay, so for enrollment, for staying all the way to the end of the webinar masterclass, you're actually getting um, something really big. So you're getting the new program, the one-on-one -on -one coaching plus the online program for the old price that it was for group coaching and the one-on-one -on -one program. So you're getting a lot more value, but for the same price as it was before, um, which is a really big deal because I'm going to be changing the price for anyone who did not find me and sit through this. <laughs> webinar. <laughs> but if you sat through this webinar, I know you're ready to work and I know that you're my people and I know that I'm your people and we find each other for a reason. So you're going to get grandfathered in just like my current self healers. Everyone who was enrolled in the self healer program before I changed it to hybrid got the benefit of hybrid for the old price and you're always going to get that too. So if I change something and add value, I'm always adding value to the program. So when I do that, you're not going to have to pay more. You're going to get that extra value for the same price you paid in the beginning. I'm never going to charge you more, but I'm always going to keep giving you more. So that means you get monthly one-on-one -on -one calls instead of group coaching, but for the group coaching price. So I'll tell you exactly what it includes. You get six one-on-one -on -one hour-long coaching calls. You don't have to do them one per month, but that's what I recommend. So you, I just give you six total. You can figure out what you want to do with them. You get lifetime access to all the digital materials in the Self Healer program, the whole Self Healer learning platform. You get um, exclusive downloadable exercises. So mindset exercises, letting go of trauma, muscle testing exercises. So you get like um, these targeted sort of homework exercises to help you train yourself to do these things. You get hours of audio and video lessons. You get lifetime access to the Self Healer community. And you get new program content uploaded every single week. I upload new stuff every week. And I'm going to give you a bonus. Okay, so I talked about medical astrology and how I'm incorporating it into the self-healer program. Well, it's going to be incorporated into this new hybrid style program, but I'm going I'm going to change the price to reflect that it, you know, that I'm doing it because normally I would charge $199 for um, a medical astrology reading. So I'm actually going to give it to you as a bonus. I'm not going to increase the price at all. You're just going to get it as a straight up bonus. So if you enroll the same day that you're watching this webinar, and I can see, you know, when you enroll in the webinar and, you know, how far you've gotten, and that sort of thing. So if you've watched this webinar to this point and then you decide to enroll on the same day, then you're going to get this personal medical astrology reading for free. You get a one-hour phone, phone analysis with me, 
And you also get a separate audio recording of the interpretation that I do on my own, and you get to keep that forever. So as I do the report, I record what's coming to my mind. It ends up being 30 minutes to an hour. Then when we have the phone consult, I get to ask you questions and put the pieces together and come up with really valuable insight into the underlying causes of your illness. And that's so important because everything has an underlying cause. And I guarantee you nine times out of 10, it's going to be different than what you thought it was. And it is so powerful to know on the most basic level what you're dealing with. And the reason I still do the audio recording separate is because I want you to know it's real. I want you to hear what I had to say before you filled in the gaps. <laughs> and I want, I want to make sure that you hear everything that came up in the report. So while I'm just kind of like, you know, free flowing all these things together that are coming up in your chart and recording it, you can listen to the audio and you can catch things that you didn't make an association with during the phone analysis. So, um, and you get to keep it forever. So it's a really powerful tool. And uh, you do need to know your exact time of birth. Um, but because if you know your time of birth, it is like very freaky accurate and um, I'll show you mine as an example okay well I don't know how to go back in this program definitely not like that <laughs> that's not important those are just ancillary but this is what came up on my medical astrology report so what I found and I, I do a very complex method there are a few people out there doing medical astrology but none of them have a medical degree of any kind and None of them do this degree of complexity <laughs> that I do. So I do, uh, I do a, an initial degree analysis for all your hard aspects in your natal chart. And then I take each of those degrees and I do a fixed star analysis. And then I usually do a couple of perfection charts to nail down some timing. And then if I need to, I'll even do um, a D6 or um, also known as a sixth house divisional chart. So there, there's a lot going on. And I do um, solar return as well. So there's a lot going on that, that comes up with these results, but this was me. So I just assumed my underlying mechanism was um, probably like autoimmune in nature because I had had so much autoimmune stuff. But what this showed me was that it's my horribly deformed back. <laughs> and I know that my back is like this, and I'll show you on the next slide how I know. But um, my mom always felt like that was the root of my problems. It's somehow my severe scoliosis, um, degenerative disc disease, and Chiari malformation was somehow causing the problems. Like it was maybe disrupting the energy flow in my body. So all these other things were made possible. And she felt like my neurological symptoms were coming from it. So I broke it down to the fixed star and we got specific vertebrae. So 13th vertebra from the top, last vertebra from the bottom, 7th lumbar and diaphragm. This came from the fixed stars that were conjunct with Chiron 27 degrees Gemini. Okay, so then we go to the ones conjunct Sun at 6 degrees Saggy, Sagittarius. <laughs> Second vertebra, left buttocks close to the spine. Third vertebra, fifth lumbar, right side of the spine. We go to Mercury, 22 degrees Scorpio, and all of its conjunct fixed stars. Uh, middle of the colon, top one-fourth of the colon, bottom center of the adrenals, lower half of the colon. I have lots of colon problems. Um, then we have Pluto, 10 degrees Scorpio. The only fixed stars that were conjunct were for the lowest vertebra and the seventh lumbar. And then we have cerebellum, which was north node, zero degrees Aries. So cerebellum, don't forget that. It's important. All right, so I'm going to show you on the next slide how I know that is accurate. In 2018, I had probably six different MRIs. These are the results from my full spine MRI and my cerebral spinal fluid flow study. So this shows that I do have problems with my cerebellum. I have Chiari malformation, a mild inferior 
ectopia of the cerebellar tonsils. It's actually 12 millimeters now, so it's not so mild at the time it was. Um, and I have CSF flow restriction. So there, there is flow present, present, but less prominent within the inferior cerebella, cerebellar cisterns. A lot of tongue twisters in this MRI. Okay, so this was the full spine. And I color coded this. So the colors that I wrote the, the things down in the previous slide are the check marks to what they correspond to. So these are all the marks that specifically corresponded to a vertebrae or like a spot, like an actual, you know, like my cerebellum. So I had disc bulges from uh, C3 and 4 to C6 and 7. That was in the medical astrology report. That Those exact numbers. Um, impression. Right convex thoracic scoliosis, about 20 degrees. That was one of the... The, the, you know, points on um, my medical astrology chart. I think it was like 13th vertebra or something like that. Uh, straightened thoracic kyphosis um, can represent muscle spasm or sprain. So this, the kyphosis is um, related to my lower back, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, disc protrusions left at L3 to L4. So some of those points would say like left side of the third lumbar vertebra. Like how specific is this, guys? Like I'm, I'm not going to go on forever because no one cares, but that those were the specific points. And um, then this is just kind of a fun little wheel, but it goes to, to represent how important cellular mineral salts are. So the basis of medical astrology, it, one of the very first um, things that started medical astrology was this idea that your zodiac sign is going to determine which cell salts you deplete fastest. So your sun sign plus the two signs after it will be what you deplete fastest. So um, if you're, so I'm Sagittarius, so it would be Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. So you can't just take these in normal form. Some of them are poisonous and some of them you just can't take. They don't absorb that way. But I have the correct way to take these forms. So for the most part, you just have to like dilute them in a certain way. But um, there, there are supplements you can take. So instead of taking just your sun sign plus the two after it, we do it in a different way, one that's balanced with all 12 of these cell salts, and then you muscle test yourself to find the right dosage. And it's something that dissolves under your tongue, so it's highly effective and extremely cheap. It's like $11 for a bottle, and you they will last you forever, like two or three months. Okay, I'm gonna give you another bonus because um, y'all have really stuck with me for a while now. Um, if you pay in full today, so if you pay the full price today instead of doing a payment plan, you'll get 25% off of enrollment. So normally the self healer program for the group coaching price, which is what you're getting, but you're getting the one-on-one -on -one, you know, organization, you're just getting the group coaching price, normally is $13.99. For you today only, you're gonna get it for $1,000, and well, $1,050. So um, that's a big deal. <laughs> but I mean, when you think about the amount of a, like one-on-one -on -one attention that you'll be getting and the amount of information that you'll have lifetime access to, um, if you break that down like by month, you're, you're not gonna be able to find that kind of value with any other professional. So it's a really good opportunity and it's something that if you act on today, you'll, you'll get rewarded for it because I want you to take the initiative. I want you to give me the invitation to help you. Um, back when I did one-on-one -on -one locally based coaching, my clients paid me a retainer. I never wanted more than like four or five clients per month because I wanted to pour my heart and soul into getting them better. And they paid me a $3,000 monthly retainer. So um, that is a really good value. <laughs> um, 
And that gives you an idea of how I'm going to be changing the Self Healer program tuition to reflect all of the new additions that I'm, you know, um, changing to give you more value. And like I said, no matter how much value I add, I'm never going to change your price once you're in the program, but you will get the value that I add. Okay, here's the full offer so you see what you're looking at. You get six one-on-one -on -one hour long coaching calls, lifetime access to digital materials, exclusive downloadable exercises for every single chapter. You get hours of audio and video lessons. You get lifetime access to the self healer community. You get new content uploaded every single week. You get hour long detailed medical astrology reading. And then you get the, the digital audio um, reading to keep. And you get a 25% discount if you go ahead and enroll today and if you pay the full price. So instead of breaking it up into payments. All right, you ready to step into your self-healing power? <laughs> um, if you're ready for your best health, um, to get your body back into harmony and to reclaim your personal power, then I actually have three different options. So you can pay in full, you receive the 25% off that way, or you can do a six-month payment plan. It'll be $232 for six months. Or you can get a 12-month plan, which would be $116 for 12 months. Now, just to give you an idea of what I was paying for one appointment with my old doctor, just to be muscle tested to some supplements, really, was 150 to 300 per appointment, depending on how long it ran. You're getting a month of a, a, a phone call with me every month, a one on one call. It usually lasts one to three hours. You're getting me distance muscle testing you. You're getting all of, you know, the, the guidance that you could possibly need through the phone calls, through email, through direct message, through the self healer program itself, however you feel comfortable asking me questions. And you're getting all of that material in the self healer program. So it would be less than one doctor's appointment per month with a doctor that's just going to muscle test you and then get you out the door. So you're not even learning how to do it for yourself. You have to keep going back to them. And I don't want that. I want after six months or after 12 months, I want you to never have to come back to me, except to tell me that you're doing really, really well and you want to become a self healer coach yourself because that's the next move. The next move, because I get so many people asking me to teach them medical astrology because I, I do this weird, freaky, accurate method. I get so many people asking me to teach them how to do it, and I get so many healthcare professionals in the Self Healer program that my goal is to teach them how to do all of this. So that's the next stop is you being able to take this information and pay it forward to help other people. So you may not have any desire to do that and that's totally fine, but you're at least learning how to do it for yourself. This is the exact opposite of Band-Aid medicine. It's the exact opposite of trial and error treatment. It's the exact opposite of probably anything you've done before, but it's definitely the opposite of anything you've ever had a doctor do before. I can tell you that for, from experience. So you have three options. And um, you, you get 25% off if you pay in full, but no matter which option you choose, you still get the bonus uh, free medical astrology report, which again is invaluable for figuring out your root cause. You don't want to just keep chasing your tail and wondering and treating one thing after another. You want to have an end goal in mind. 
So you, you want to know what you're working towards. And without that piece of, of evidence to point you in that direction, and you can always confirm it. So mine was confirmed by MRIs, actually, in retrospect, because I already had the MRIs. I just didn't know it was the underlying problem. you know. But I have one self-healer. We confirmed the underlying cause of her MS is a genetic defect that causes her to be more sensitive to cholinesterase inhibitors. Well, I saw all of that in the medical astrology port, and because I have the knowledge that I have of the human body, I was able to make that connection. So she can confirm that with genetic testing. So, and she is, we're actually waiting on that, but there's 100% she has this defect. She checks all the boxes. So this is important, I think, for you to have this medical astrology report. And if you decide not to enroll in the Self Healer program, I'll still do your chart. It'll just cost $200. So you're getting it for free with the program. Chances are, this is usually what happens if you decide to just do the medical astrology report, once you see what's in there, you want a plan of action. So you're either going to attempt to do it on your own, which is totally fine, or you're going to save yourself the headache and let me mentor you. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> we'll recap one more time because I know that's like a ton of information. So you get six one-on-one -on -one hour-long coaching calls. You, and I say hour long, but they're minimum hour long. I, I, I block off three hours. I only do one per day. And that's why in the future, the program has to increase in cost because I can only do one a day. I get, I'm get i just tired after that. It takes a lot of energy for me to channel all of this stuff. You know, I want to show up and give you my 100% and I'm a highly sensitive person. So... <laughs> But it's going to at least be an hour long. The first call guaranteed is three hours. It's never been shorter than that. But the subsequent calls, you don't necessarily need three hours. We just, we just go until we're done. You get lifetime access to the digital materials. So this is your self-healing encyclopedia. One day I will be offering like a, um, just a membership access to it because it's so much information that I want people to have access to it, but the people that would be interested in a membership type access won't be the people that, you know, are, are in like desperate need. You know, they're, they're not going to be the people that are just at the point where they're spinning their wheels. Like you need one-on-one -on -one attention if you're on this webinar. Like I can already tell that nobody would stay till the end of this if it wasn't a, you know, a pain point for you. So that's a, it's a really big value. It's not stuff that I have, you know, everywhere else on the internet. And it's not stuff that you can find everywhere else on the internet, even from other sources. You know, a lot of it is some really like hard, hard to find information and it's not purposefully hidden from anybody. It's just like, you have to get deep into the rabbit hole to find this stuff. And it's all stuff that's necessary for you to know. Um, you get exclusive downloadable exercises. So you can put like a practical game plan into action. You get schedules. You get um, like daily dosing schedule suggestions, daily intermittent fasting schedule suggestions. You get a calendar for exercises. So you can, you know, if, if you have no idea what you're doing with exercise or you have no idea how to do it, you know, in a way that's healthy for you and not damaging, then you're going to get a lot of use out of these calendars because they're specifically designed to support you in whatever way you need supported most. You get hours of audio and video lessons. My self-healers listen to these on their lunch break, in the car. They're, they're intended for you to be able to just listen to it like an audiobook or watch it like a YouTube video. Practical ways that people like to learn. That's the way that I try to put the information out there. Most of it is repeated also in PDF form so that you can have a hard copy to refer back to. And the hard copy is always scientifically referenced. So you get the link right there to go to the research and see exactly where I saw it. 
you get lifetime access to the self healer community. So you're going to be a part of this tribe forever and you're going to grow with us forever. Um, and you know, maybe I'm impartial or maybe I'm partial, but it's a really great community to be a part of. <laughs> and you get new program content every single week. So I'm not going to ever let you feel disconnected or unmotivated. I, I really would feel like I had failed y'all if I wasn't giving you something new and better and helpful. And it's not always something profound. It could be a five minute video, but it's something new. And there's already so much material. Like you're, bu you're going to be busy. Like, trust me, you're not going to ever get to a point where you're like, dang, where's that new material? You're going to have stuff to do. I promise. But you will always learn what I learn. So whenever I improve my knowledge base or whenever I come up with a new technique, you will get that new knowledge and you will get that new technique. And you'll get the hour-long detailed medical astrology reading with the audio that you get to keep forever. And you get the 25% discount, discount when you pay in full today. All right. So... The next screen that you go to will be a screen where you can either book a free call with me if you want to talk more about it, which I would love to speak to you. So please don't be shy. Extend that invitation to me and we'll have a chat. Or if you're just like, boom, let's do this, you can go ahead and enroll in the Self Healer program and you will then get the link to schedule our first call together and we will just start rocking and rolling, you know, right off the bat. Or if you just kind of want to dip your toe in a little, if you have a couple questions, but you're shy, email me. <laughs> you can email me at elizabeth at selfhealerinstitute.com. You can always find me on Instagram, experimental underscore Betty. Reach out to me in the DMs. If you want to follow me from afar for a little while, please, like I, I welcome you. I'm also on Pinterest, although a lot of my materials cross-posted. So if you're on Instagram, you're probably not going to see much new from my Pinterest. <laughs> but if you're not on Instagram, check me out on Pinterest. I have a Facebook, but I don't get on it um, very often. It's Experimental Betty. And uh, yeah, that's it. I don't want to overwhelm you with stuff. But as soon as you click off of this, You'll be taken to a screen and then you can decide what to do from there. But just remember, if you act today, I will reward you as best as I possibly can for making that decision to just jump in like I did a year ago, you know, or really a year and a half ago now. Um, it, it, it is something that you have to decide to do, though. It's not something that I can offer you. I mean, I, I put this webinar out there. But this is not my offer to you. You have to invite me. So the, the ball is in your court. All of the power is in your self-healing hands. Like you have to invite me or else I will have no way of knowing that you want my help. So again, I have so much gratitude for you being here and I am so grateful to be in your orbit, and I will catch you uh, sometime soon, self-healers. <laughs>